Carro. Hello my Taurus friends, Guiding Halo here. This is going to be your reading for the weekly bump. So, hump day fun day my friends. Let's find out what's happening for you, your weekly energy from Wednesday to Wednesday. Let's find out what's going on. That'll be September 1st to the, yeah, the 8th I guess. <clears throat> Or I'll have a, I don't know. Anyway, I can't do dates right now. My head's all flyfold. So, <laughs> for Taurus, please, the weekly bump. Energy in the middle of the week that goes to middle of next. We have the Queen of Wands, Aries Leo Sagittarius. A very passionate person you may be dealing with. Or that could be you, taking a stance and moving forward in a beautiful way. Queen of Pentacles, Virgo Taurus Capricorn. There's some of your energy right there. So I would be saying you very well may be dealing with a Vir with a um, Aries Leo Sagittarius. Trying to build a solid foundation. It's almost like the two of you tried to build a solid foundation, but there's somebody who's got to walk away from the emotional confusion. Why do I want to say you guys have a whole lot going on right now? Trying to build the financial stability, trying to maybe create something new, maybe trying to invest. You could be dealing with children, grown children or partnerships or all these sorts of things. Trying to find the passion within again, the passion to maybe do your work, trying to move things around. This is movement, move things around in order to do so. And I think there's also some concern about having to go alone with, alone, like be a lone wolf. That's what I want to say. It's like, oh, I don't mind being a lone wolf, wolf halo. In fact, it's walking away from this shit so I can be a lone wolf and pay attention to my life and what's going on. Because there's been a whole lot of uh, people interjecting, I would say, on the earth signs from the other signs as to needing help or wanting some sort of stability or something or whichever let's find out some more i've got a whole lot of people here and not a lot of nouns i want to say that this is both your energy could be well it could all be your energy but i want to say that someone's not happy here i think there's some concern about losing losing out on love it's like walking away from love altogether it's like there's some concern about that Knowing that you'll have what it takes to meet it, but at the same time wondering if there's any happiness in this. But this Queen of Wands and the Queen of Wands, I can't even. Holy cow. So you could be dealing with two fire signs. Maybe a younger Leo and a... Or, Leo Aries Sagittarius and an older Leo Aries Sagittarius. It could be that these two people together are what you are needing to decipher between is what I'm getting there. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna I usually pull a clarifier after, but I'm gonna shuffle the deck and pull a clarifier for that. I just saw a Leo card, so it could be a Leo and an Aries Leo Sagittarius. Okay, tell me about this two Queen of Wands on top of each other. It's like two situations you have to deal with require to happen at the most at the same time. And like all you want to do is focus on your finances. It's like getting people in their own lane to take care of their own thing so that you can focus on what you need to focus on. Walking away from the emotional confusion. Yeah, temporary pause and action sees well planted unnecessary worry. Hey, Freya coming to say hello. Uh, so, looking at how you can manage it all. Someone's really trying to manage things, man. Looking at how you can manage it all. Trying to definitely find your way forward. Decide what you're going to put effort into first. But it seems the universe is requiring you to do it all at once. Man, that's a lot. It's a lot for my Taurus peeps. 
I'm just going to split the deck here and pull from the middle. Truth, a victory. There's a victory coming in some sort of finances or, or, or who you are as a person. Nurturing, caring, loving. There's some sort of victory here coming for you. Um, standing forward on the truth. It's a Whatever you're going on is incredibly challenging. And you've been through the gamut. But I'd say you're about to have a, a personal victory. Seven of Cups. So see, there's a whole lot of uncertainty in trying to decide which way to move forward. And I was going to say, if you had the Seven of Cups, you have to remember that this guy here is the Eighth Cup. It's about looking at what you bring to the table in each one of these circumstances. What can I do? What should I do? What shouldn't I do? Whoops. Hang on. Well, my Taurus friends, that was intense. So you very well may feel like someone's coming in and shattering your life into pieces. Um, everything in my readings that happens is part of the reading. Okay, so whether it's a person, a pet, a whichever, someone coming in, handing you some information, and now there's some major deciphering of what to do next. You just want to walk away from the whole damn thing. Whatever it is. Happy home, happy life, happy husband, happy wife. Walking away from the dream. This could also be about contracts, about bringing two together. A celebration in walking away. I think you, you feel like you should just let everyone deal with their shit and what happens, happens. But the divine has definitely called you to do something here. This... Uh, page of swords could also be paperwork I think you're walking away from so much confusion trying to get happy but you're still trying to figure out exactly how to go about doing that for yourself because there's like this is asking for clarity if I look at the reading this way it's like I almost like have a younger earth or not earth uh, fire sign that you're looking to build something for and I would even say in protection of wanting to build a happy home have celebration in the situation but there's something about going it alone that I feel is stressful for you look at that it's like the more you try to move ahead the more things get paused and the more bad news comes in it feels like it's like the more pause, the more bad news comes in. It's like, why is the wrong person winning in this circumstance? What is that about? Temporary pause and action. Perhaps you thought you would end up in a certain circumstance, but the divine's got to take you through a detour in order to get you where they actually want you and where your soul signed up for before you got here. And there could be a younger earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. This is usually... Virgo and energy but there's good communication coming in it seems about money it's it's knowing what you want to put your your work into because seven of pentacles and one more pentacle equals eight so you're soon going to have the opportunity to put your work into things that's going to end you up in this energy but it is a very singular energy and I'd also like to say if this has to do with family and romance and whichever that in a romantic type scenario you very well may feel it's better to go it alone at a certain point or, or someone could be leaving a neighborhood or something or somebody you've relied on could be moving further away maybe and then you end up feeling like you have to do it all alone there's a lot of confusion here that's all I'm gonna say about which way is the best way forward you know the end result and what it is you want but how am I gonna get there that's the question you're asking right now. All right, let's get a message from Universe Has My Back Deck. Through, through prayer and meditation, I create a ripple effect of peace in the world. So the divine seems to be asking you to get still pop yourself in this hangman tree seems to be asking you to pray and ask for guidance about what to do next it's almost like they're saying you know like if it's supposed to stop we'll stop it 
I almost there's there's children energy here even though I don't have the children card or younger adult it's almost like you've got to let them get to a place where they take control of their own reins whether it's the older one or even the younger one perhaps you not need to let them go through I would even say a trauma which sucks right we try and protect our kids this trauma could actually be at the hands of a court I would say It's like, choose your battles. Let someone think they won the war now in order for them to lose the battle. Or is it the other way around? Whichever. <laughs> Let someone think they've won the battle now in order to lose the war later. It's almost what it seems like. But it seems to me there's a child type energy that's, that needs to stand up and either protect themselves or speak what they want. Have compassion for another. So interesting, Angel whispers, we have compassion for ourselves. we have compassion in all circumstances, but there's something where the divine's asking you to have compassion for another. Don't just think about it, do it. So whatever's on your mind and you're thinking about, they want you to get started. So here, the thinking about it, maybe this is, you know, you, you have the ability to create this emotional happiness but you've got to stop thinking about the things you're gonna do and actually put the pedal to the metal and get doing the things you're gonna do that's easy to say halo I got a lot going on you know I'm like oh, don't we all do your best the divine doesn't expect you to be the divine but you've got to expect the divine's gonna meet you halfway divine guardian as I said this is a time of significant spiritual growth and healing for you. You are protected during these times by the love and strength of Divine Mother Isis. Relax and allow your transformation to happen. Your Divine Guardian protects you now. Let go. Trust unconditionally in what is happening for you, as there is only Divine Love beneath the surface of the present situation. That's going to be very hard for some of my Taurus friends to feel. It really is because I know my own personal Taurus friends in my life, uh, you may very well even feel left out of the situation in God's hands and be asking yourself, why? Why has this catastrophe happened? It's like everything I try, I hit a brick wall. Why is it this way? But it's because the divine is growing you and shaping you, moving you into the next you that you are going to be. And I, I would yeah, even, because Uranus is in Taurus, you're going to be very shocked about how it's all going to come to fruition. That's something I definitely would say. I'm going to pull you guys a postcard from Spirit because I feel this reading totally needs one. Dearest you, there is only one you, and you have a unique path and a special purpose. You're supposed to have a specific experience in this world and meet certain people, but then it is up to you how you live, how awake you choose to be, and how willing you are to grow and strip away what's false. Don't compare yourself to others. It's easy to think a person is happier because their outside looks good according to society standards but you can't know anyone's internal experience. Compare yourself only to your past self. See how far you've come. Don't be distracted by what others are doing or accomplishing. Stay focused on what inspires you. That's how you get successful and find happiness. Want what you have now, not what someone else has. We love you immensely and know your journey ahead is sparkling with miracles and wondrous things. Trust loving you forever and ever. I hope this week picks up for my Taurus friends and that you find joy in the small things, maybe even in your little ones, if nothing else. Perhaps someone out there is taking care of little ones and it's it's uh, causing concern. <laughs> you love your family. You absolutely love your family. But it's like I see someone sitting there going, I can only take so much. Halo, I can only take so much understand that you're not alone and the thoughts that come into your mind I know you're tired but the thoughts that come into your mind are absolutely divinely led so I would highly suggest that you pay very close attention to those thoughts and do do what those thoughts are okay I love you guys I hope 
hope your week turns out well. Blessings.